ever wondered why hardware is the lifeblood of ambient music creation? Why so many ambient artists choose to work with physical machines? Is it just an obsession or there's something more to it? Today we'll unveil three compelling reasons to prove the importance of hardware elements such as synths, tape machines and effect pedals in crafting this genre. Also, if you feel like working with hardware is complicated or too expensive, stick around until the end because I link you another video that could provide you a solution. Brian Eno, the godfather of ambient music, once said, Honor thy error as a hidden intention. Well, maybe he didn't actually say it like this, also it was written somewhere, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, the quote perfectly captures the magic of happy accidents in music creation, especially when it comes uh, to the world of hardware scenes and tape recorders. Unlike their digital counterparts, hardware instruments are not perfect. Uh, there are cables and converters, different kind of circuits and interfaces with their own personality, quirks and uh, imperfections. As like nudge of a knob can create an unexpected texture, uh, pressing the wrong key could produce uh, an interesting variation and moving the wrong fader uh, can lead the song somewhere else, and so on. These mistakes can inject a unique character that's hard to program in a software. Uh, remember William Basinski's groundbreaking album Disintegration Loops? The entire album's haunting beauty arose from the gradual decay of old uh, tape loops, a technical issue that became the foundation of an entire genre. Uh, these mistakes might seem like roadblocks at first, but for the discerning ambient musician, they can be a treasure trove of inspiration. You can find yourself embracing these accidents, letting them guide your inspiration or pushing your creativity in unforeseen directions. We love being there staring at screen, chasing perfection in a sea of menus and endless digital possibilities. It's the curse of modern music creation, a constant battle against destruction. But what if there was another way? Unlike the digital realm, with its endless possibilities and thus destruction, hardware offers a refreshing disconnect. No more battling pop-up notifications, uh, no more getting lost in the rabbit hole of online tutorials. Here it's uh, just you, the instrument and the raw power of sound. Countless artists have found their creative spark through the physical connection to hardware. In my personal experience, it was mind-blowing when I found out about musicians like Heimbach and Amulets which were the first source of inspiration in my sonic journey. I came from a background of hip-hop beats and electronic music, and discovering such a free, limitless approach was so liberating. Don't misunderstand me, I don't mean that we can't take advantage of the digital world, although it's an absolutely necessary tool to finalize your music, but I think that uh, uh, this part can come later, after the raw creative process has taken place. Some might see limitations in hardware as a hindrance, but for many artists, uh, these constraints uh, are the very fuel that ignites creativity. Take uh, tape machines, for example. With limited track uh, counts, artists like Brian Eno were forced to get resourceful. Techniques like uh, tape loops and um, cut-ups became cornerstone of ambient music, pushing the boundaries of sonic manipulation. The finite capabilities of analog synthesizers became a playground for experimentation. 
the limitations of these instruments challenged artists to coax new and unexpected sounds through layering, feedback loops and the creative use of effect pedals. Personally, I love to challenge myself with minimal setups and limited tools. Limitations force you to think outside the box and you learn to maximize the instrument's potentials in a way you never thought it was possible. So, why hardware for ambient music? Three key points. Happy accidents, focus and inspiration, limitations spark creativity. And uh, as I promised you, there's one last important reminder. Going hardware could seem overwhelming in terms of space, money, complexity. But I want to reassure you, you don't necessarily need a big budget to make great music. And you don't even need a real studio or a lot of space. If you want to know more about making ambient drone music on a budget with a simple setup, you have to check out this video. Let me know your thoughts down below and thanks for watching.